Westford Consummation Commission meeting of Wednesday, October 9th, two th um, sorry, November 9th, 2022. Um, the first item on the agenda is open forum. Do any members of the commission have something for open forum? Thank you. Um, as Noel is participating remotely tonight, via phone, all votes will be by roll call. Uh, and then just to kind of update the commission on a couple of projects going on about town, um, 45 Village View, the after the fact approval for the wall that wasn't actually approved. Um, the CMU retaining wall has been removed um, as of last Friday when I was out there. Um, it hadn't been seated yet, but I think they were getting out there Monday or Tuesday this week to seed it, um, put up kind of a temporary construction fence at the top of the slope in lieu of kind of the more permanent fencing that they were looking uh, to place there outside the 30 as it was determined to that it would be better to get uh, the ground stabilized with seed growth, you know, with vegetation growth, as opposed to, um, you know, holding out 10 days for, you know, the fence contractors to come in and put in the fence. Um, but things look good and, um, you know, it's, they were able to work quite expeditiously at that. Um, the, uh, both retaining walls at 62 Lakeshore Drive South, um, uh, Mr. Walter, um, he was before the commission, I think last week or, or last meeting or two back, um, the his project is completely you know the both the retaining wall at the toe of the slope and the new boulder um, wall uh, where they removed the uh, timber uh, the railroad timbers. Um, both of those are installed. I'll have photos and uh, for the at the commission's next meeting. Kind of my plan is to kind of have a year-end project summary of you know where where all the projects are um, to update the commission just kind of uh, what uh, what things are left for in my mind what things are left and where the projects at um, and kind of you know anticipated timeline um, and then with regards to a couple enforcement orders the commission has recently issued um, I was out at 25 Buckboard this afternoon, and the fill on the uh, conservation restricted parcel uh, for the homeowners association has been removed. Uh, three white pines have been planted. The conservation posts have not been installed yet. I think they were likely either today or tomorrow. In addition to the seed mixes going down, uh, both within both on the conservation restricted parcel i think it was the conservation wildlife mix or one of the new england uh, wetland plants mixes and the lawn is uh, should be stable it should be planted and uh, they have erosion controls in various places uh, to make sure that none of the seed nor uh, loam ends up uh, moving off site um, and in the commission's packet in miscellaneous there was the restoration uh, planting plan prepared by uh, ecotech in consultation with the lsp um, and they are proposing to utilize boulders found on site to kind of demarcate the edge of the existing pavement um, and to seed the area with a combination of the wildlife, the conservation wildlife seed mix and the wildflower seed mix. So that's, that would no longer be considered degraded, you know, for the future, pro, you know, any future purchase, you know, that's going to be considered, you know, renaturalized area and not degraded. So it won't be able to be utilized in any kind of aerial calculations for riverfront area disturbance. Um, and also, you know, um, as we've kind of seen with 75 Groton Road, um, you know, the limit of work, you know, any future limit of work will be, will not be able to disturb that area. Um, so that's kind of. Well, it won't be considered previously disturbed. That's a good It'll be protection. naturalized. At right, yes, yeah, yeah. So, it, you know, so it's 
it'll be naturalized so they can't you know go forward whatever i think it was 58 5 d or c one of those and, uh, i don't know don't have it in front of me um but those are kind of just updates for the commission at this time great thank you um do any members of the audience have something for open forum okay um in that case we'll move on to our 705 p.m agenda item which is a public hearing and issue order of conditions for Archstone Builders LLC, 254 Concord Road, Lot 2A. Good evening, Mark Slager from Allen Engineering here on behalf of Archstone Builders. Uh, we last met um, about a month ago to review the project. Um, and subsequent to that meeting, we've had uh, a peer review of the wetland delineation uh, once the delineation was confirmed, uh, I submitted some revised plans showing modifications to the construction sequence and adjusting the limit of work and the location of the um, conservation posts along with the requirement that they be installed uh, prior to clearing and grubbing the site. Um, and also, while Matt was out at the site, he noticed an area that had been altered within the 30-foot um, no disturb zone um, there's some leftover construction com debris and whatnot from when they had some structures out on the site at uh, some time in the in the past um, so we um, we will be removing all of that debris and restabilizing the area um, and then putting the silt fence and silt socks up gradient of that where the original uh, limit of work is going to be um, so based on that, uh, I think we've addressed all of the commission's concerns and uh, Dan Matt has a draft order of conditions. And the peer review report was sent um, and it is included in the revised meeting packet um, and summary. No, uh, the wetland delineation was confirmed. Okay, good. No okay. issue with the order of conditions. Do um, any so any members of the commission have additional questions or comments on the orders of conditions? On the, on the order of conditions, condition number 25, having to do with uh, mowing or maintaining the area inside the 50-foot buffer. If you, if you go to the um, the map, the plan for you, the 50-foot buffer. Uh, once the the dotted lines are gone, it's kind of hard to follow. Um, you, know, you never know where, the, where it was exactly. So I'm suggesting that it might be a better idea to, to reference the uh, conservation post. Uh, for the most part, those are along the uh, the dark block. Yep, you, there you go. And they, they're up there. It got, cuts across a little bit. It actually goes into the um, priority habitat and uh, estimated habitat for endangered species. Um, but I think a, a line along those is something that's easier to identify, easier to see. And if we want to limit um you know no mowing no no maintenance inside that area uh, that would be a good idea as using that as the line and then the second comment i have has to do with um, uh, the mowing and maintaining uh, i agree the, the beginning of, of number 25 says the area behind beyond the conservation post shall not be mowed i think if we end that sentence right there that'd be great and then it shall not be maintained except to keep out non-native invasive species and i think that's okay what I didn't want, like is when we were mixing the mowing and the maintaining, because then it sounded like, well, you can, if they have invasive species, you can mow it. And, and so I think if we, you know, very clearly state no mowing, yeah, but you can maintain it strict, uh, strictly for the purpose of um, dangerous, uh, invasive removal. So those are the only comments I had. So basically, a period after mode, and then. Replace the word or with with uh, it in, may inside the 50 foot buffer to the bordering vegetative wetlands shall not be maintained except to keep out um, non native. Did you send an updated? Is this the updated? This is the updated. Okay, he, he this is the update. update to it. Okay, itself. yeah, they, we, I didn't update the hard copy that people okay. received, so uh, but you understand what I'm 
Um, yeah, so what, and, if, and Matt if, said that you had some similar. Uh, yeah, so this was what was changed, you know, so the area beyond the conservation post shall not be mowed, period. you know, okay. period. Um, and then the area beyond conservation post shouldn't, shouldn't be maintained except to yeah, keep Yeah, shall up. not be maintained that, except That to would keep imply up. no mowing, but you can go out and pluck them and pull them. Yeah. Okay. And Mark, your, your client will be okay with that change? Sure. Um, any other comments? Um, comments or questions from members of the audience? Not, can I have a motion to issue the order of conditions as amended? Second. All those in favor, Eric? Yeah, just one. You're okay. fine with all the other comments yes. here? Yeah. He okay. Said, yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Marilyn? Yes. yes. Jim? Yes. Noel? Yes. Anne? Yes. And Margaret? Yes. Um, motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Eric? Yes. Marilyn? Yes. Jim? Yes. Noel? Yes. Anne? Yes. And Margaret? Yes. Uh, we also received a request to work after December 1st from uh, the project representative um, to also was forwarded to the commission yesterday afternoon uh, installed the erosion control barriers and the conservation posts clean up the area to be restored and stabilized per the plan uh, excavate the cellar hole for foundation and backfill and install the water supply well and line to the house um, if the commission is can I have a motion to approve the request to work between December 1st and April 1st? Second. All those in favor? Eric? Yes. Marilyn? Yes. Jim? Yes. Noel? Yes. Anne? Yes. And Margaret? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Sign. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Have a good Thanksgiving. Thank you. Well, we get one more before that. No, oh, no, we no, don't. No, no. It's after. No, it's after. No, we it's don't. Yeah. Don't do that. To We're the fifth. <laughs> We're the fifth, yes. It's, yeah, it's the fifth Wednesday, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, moving on to our 7.10 p.m. agenda item. Public hearing for Eagle Scout candid candidate Congdon for project at 55 South Chelmsford Road. Under Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40, the Wetlands Protection Act, and Westford's Non-Zoning Wetland Bylaw, Chapter 171, the Westford Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on Wednesday, November 9th, 2022 at 7, 10 p.m. in meeting room 201 at Town Hall 55 Main Street to consider the request for determination of applicability application of Eagle Scout candidate Liam Congdon for the construction of two sets of stairs within the previously disturbed 4-H Fairground Amphitheater within 100 feet of bordering vegetated wetlands at 55 South Chelmsford Road, Assessor's Map 18610. Good evening. Good evening. And you are? William. William. Um, so. Would you like to sorry. tell us about your project? So the project is basically putting in two sets of stairs. Um, it's, the hill itself is very sloped, and kids pretty much go running. And it, it's, a, it's a hazard now. So two sets of stairs would definitely help. And it would pretty, uh, so the stairs would uh, basically boxes being set up on top of each other so that people can get down. And it doesn't really disturb much of the area. And it's outside the, uh, it's like 80 feet from the water, 100 feet from the water. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't disturb the water at all. I met with him out at the project site a couple weeks ago now, um, and it is, you know, as described, uh, disturbed. And I think you're proposing to put them on sonnet tubes, correct? So, uh, the concrete, or are you oh, just putting uh, the posts in the ground? The, just the posts, and then the boxes just sit on those. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, fairly minimal disturbance. It is all disturbed. Um, there is a fairly established buffer um, beyond kind of the uh, uh, platform at the base of the amphitheater, mm -hmm. um, and certainly. So, what's the construction like? Any detail on? I have. I have a plan. Thank you so much. Yeah. 
Is this something that would require a building permit or anything? Yes. Okay. And it's been filled out and handed to the building. Okay. I have received it. So. Okay. Waiting for the commission's uh, review and approval or something. This is the first Boy Scout project I've heard of at that area. Uh, have we done anything else there with the There's placements? been some. Uh, it's I a think, good place for them to be. Yeah, a couple of years ago, uh, I know a scout put a oh, handicap sorry. accessible Second. ramp on uh, the administrative yeah. building um, mm -hmm. out front. Um, but again, that's you know out yeah. by Chum, you know South Chelmsford Road, so that's you know outside the buffer. Um, It'd be know, a good place for the scouts to do things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have there been other projects to your knowledge? Or? Not to my knowledge, but I wouldn't be surprised. So these are like four foot squares. It's uh yeah. So the boxes are four feet by four feet, but the tread is only forty inches. So the boxes overhang or not overhang, but sit on by eight inches yeah yeah okay. okay um and so the building commissioner has not said that there's any need for any kind of hand railing or anything hand railing yes okay. balusters no okay um so is this this is still a, a um kind of a design plan or is this what you're that's uh probably what we'll be going with Okay, I'm just I'm just thinking once you, once you have a final design plan, we would like to have a copy to, so that it's in the file so that you know somebody goes and looks at it and they can see you know yeah. how you had what we approved and what was built. Yeah, I can yeah. put in the building permit yeah. um, all the information on that as well in the uh, okay. project file so we have, so we have information. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I don't have any trouble with this. No, it looks fine. I just want to make sure we have a um, schematic yeah. in, for the file. And and in case we want to. You know, somebody else is planning something similar. We can just direct them to you know look at it and say, you know, here's here's what's been done in the past. So, um, any other questions from the commission? No, I think it's a good project. Okay. Any comments or questions from the audience? Let's ask one question. Sure. Yeah. How are you doing your funding for this? Um, for the lumber, I'm hoping to get donations either through lumber yards or. Let's see what you can do if you yeah. run into trouble. You can come visit us. Yeah. Back. Mm -hmm. So, um, a motion. looking for a motion. Well, I, I just wanted to see if there was any questions from the audience. Nope. Okay. Um, and that would this be a negative or conditional negative? Um, can be a negative. Okay. Can I have a motion for a negative determination of applicability? Second. All those in favor? Eric? Yes. Marilyn? Yes. Jim? Yes. Noel? Yes. And yes. And Margaret, yes. Um, Negative is positive in this instance. Yeah. <laughs> and can I have a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Eric? Yes. Marilyn? Yes. Jim? Yes. Noel? Yes. And yes. And Margaret? Yes. So awesome. you're all set. All right. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Okay. Um, Moving on to our 7.15 p.m. agenda item, public hearing Boucher at 2 Griffin Road. Under Westford's non-zoning wetland bylaw, Chapter 171, the Westford Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on Wednesday, November 9th, 2022 at 7.15 p.m. in meeting room 201 at Town Hall, 55 Main Street, to consider the request for determination of applicability application of Max and Monique Boucher for installation of a 12 by 10 foot shed on concrete blocks within 100 feet of bordering vegetated wetlands and within 200 feet of a perennial stream at 2 Griffin Road. Assessors map 12, parcel 106, lot zero. Good evening, for the record you are? My name is Max Boucher. Nice to meet you, Max. You too. <laughs> so, um, you want to tell us about your You want to put point? in a shed? I do. All right. I need a place to put the lawnmower. closest part of that shed to the resource area is it's about 60 feet um, and it is a considered a minor activity under the Riverfront Act and uh, the Wellness Protection Act as such um, where based upon a similar uh, public hearing discussion by the Commission uh, Similar, uh, at the time this was filed, um, I did 
recommend uh, that they install a uh, spill containment tray um, where it will be um, storing gasoline. Um, again, I think this all came about with the You were storing uh, your lawnmower and snowblower under the deck, was it? And the you can see the porch right there yeah. on the diagram. And uh, that is where the petroleum products are currently stored, which is apparently a violation of the fire code. So I've got to find a place to put the gasoline that fuels the lawnmower, which also needs a home. <laughs> so it was kind of one of those that we can design it so that what kind of base in the building is it going to be? What kind of flooring? Concrete, if I can okay. do that, yeah. Okay. So you're going to pour a slab? And I'd like to build. do, yeah. Okay. So. Oh, this is in ton sauna tube or block. This is yeah, poured, it's foundation poured foundation slab. So in terms of One that. One story. I mean, we would want to, um, I would just recommend conditions. One being the, uh, if the, Commission finds favorable. Uh, one being, you know, the spill containment tray, you know, or I mean, something to contain any oil, uh, fuel, yeah, yeah fuel, <laughs> you know, all, all the things, things we want to keep in it, um, and also, you know, erosion controls being installed, down gradient of, um, you know, the disturbance when the slab is being installed, you know. Right. So one of those fences with yeah, the same same that you had with the uh, any utility the going into the shed. No. Okay, so no elect underground electric or anything that we have to worry about. Okay. I'm fine. Me too. Okay. Um, any comments or questions from members of the audience? In that case, can I have a motion for a conditional negative determination of applicability? Second. All those in favor, Eric? Yes. Marilyn? Yes. Jim? Yes. Noel? Yes. Anne? Yes. And Margaret, yes. Um, can I have a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. Second. All those in favor, Eric? Yes. Marilyn? Yes. Jim? Yes. Noel? Yes. In? Yes. And Margaret, yes. So um, public hearing is closed. Matt will be in touch with um, the paperwork. Thank, Thank you, you very much for coming in. Yeah. Thanksgiving. Um, moving on to our 7.20 p.m. agenda item, uh, public hearing for Iron Tree Service, one pole lane. Under Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40 of the Wetlands Protection Act and Westford's Non-Zoning Wetland Bylaw, Chapter 171, the Westford Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on Wednesday, November 9, 2022 at 7.20 p.m. in Meeting Room 201 at Town Hall, 55 Main Street. To consider the request for determination of applicability application of Tim Donahue, Iron Tree Service for removal of four Tupelo trees within 100 feet of bordering vegetated wetlands at one pole lane, part of Assessor's Map 26, Parcel 136, Lot 0. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Good. Good. And you are? Tim Donahue. Okay. The applicant. So uh, it, it's that I know it's not a great shot because of the lighting, but what you have. Uh, where's the laser pointer on this? The uh, orange one in the middle. Orange one in the middle. So what you have right here is a very large pine tree. Mm -hmm. The Tupelo trees are right under it here. And they're all starting to exhibit tropism where they're growing towards the roof of the house because that's where the only sunlight is coming for these trees due to the massive pine tree right next to them. So what we're looking to do is basically take out these four Tupelo trees. They appear to be volunteers judging by the age of the build, the size of the trees. Mm -hmm. We're just looking to cut them down. Um, would they send up, would the root mass send up second growth? Um, potentially. Um, so another 30 years? No, because in those scenarios, what you would do is just, you know, mention it to the, the board there. If you see little sprouts come up, you can just snip them. them. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're talking about these right here. Um, not the one on the left. So if you look, not this one here. Okay. I don't. Again, I, I, it's a challenging photo because of the light. I uh, know. I'm just trying to get a better understanding. That's all. But they're all. The pine tree is further back than the tupelo trees. The yep. tupelo trees are all right on the edge of the lawn. I mean, you can again, you can see the canopy is very yeah. close to the house right there. 
the lovely color yellow. It, well, it was taken out a good time of the year, just unfortunately. No doubt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice shot. So, um, okay. Yeah, they look fairly small, and I mean, it's, there's, so many there's other plenty trees of other there. Replacement tree there, sense. yeah. And, and it's not going to require cranes or anything. It's just, just a, bucket a, work. Bucket yeah. work, yeah. okay. We're not doing any cranes, and we wouldn't put cranes near in a wetland area. That would be really okay. interesting if someone did that. Well, I just, I, you know, <laughs> thinking about the number of times we've heard them coming in with cranes and taking the trees out over the house. It's actually less invasive to the property to use cranes because yep. they, it's, everything is processed away from where the wetlands is in this scenario, but it's not the way we're doing it this time around. There's no need okay. for a crane. And so there, you're probably going to be removing um, the down trees and stuff off site? Yes. Okay. Um, so just a negative determination? Or? I apologize. Here are my, re my receipts for the mailing. It did say to bring these, so if anyone wants there you, you go. Enjoy. Thank you. Add, to my, add it to my collection. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, is a regular negative determination? Yeah, if there's no <coughs> public comment. No. Okay. Um, any comments from members of the audience? Okay. So can I have a motion for a conditional negative determination of applicability? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Eric? Yes. Marilyn? Yes. Jim? Yes. Noel? Yes. Anne? Yes. And Margaret? Yes. Um, can I have a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Eric? Yes. Marilyn? Yes. Jim? Yes. Noel? Yes. Anne? Yes. And Margaret? Yes. Um, so thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hope you guys have a great holiday. Hey, you as well. Thank you. Be safe. Okay. Um, moving on to our 7.25 p.m. agenda item, a public hearing for fourth year. 45 Buckboard Drive. Um, that's the sign. Okay. Under Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40, the Wetlands Protection Act, and Westford's Non Zoning Wetland Bylaw, Chapter 171, the Westford Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on Wednesday, November 9th, 2022, at 7 25 p.m. in Meeting Room 201 at Town Hall, 55 Main Street. Consider the request for determination of applicability application of Richard and Kristen Forcier for removal of a screened in porch, deck, and patio, and construction of a 20 and a half by 22 foot addition, uh, 6 by 20 foot bump out addition, and a deck within 100 feet of bordering vegetated wetlands at 45 Buckboard Drive, Assessor's Map 27, Parcel 232, Lot 0. Okay. Hi, I'm Rich Force here. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of the, there, there's been an update, and I mentioned this when I, we sent in the original documents. Um, what we've decided to do, and we've just got final plans. So I, I got those over the map today, so I don't know if you've had a chance to see them. Uh, what we're doing is, is uh, the final decision is in two parts. We're going to um, take the existing structure, um, and we're not doing the bigger addition on the left hand side of the backyard. We're just going to basically convert that screened in porch structure to a finished structure and we are going to continue to do the six foot bump out uh, in the middle there as well as um, uh, add the deck or replace the deck out there if we look at the existing footprint um, none of them none of the current plans uh, go further into the backyard into the wetland area um, there's the existing piece on the right uh, so that's the so you're saying that this portion right here isn't going to be built, but you're not going to tear down this section of the house? Correct. So what we're going to do, okay. if, if you look at the existing, the smaller square inside the yep. bigger square, orange sorry, the orange. Um, yeah, if you look at the, the, the yep. uh, this is the existing structure. The original thought was we were going to do this. We've decided to actually just finish the existing structure here versus building the bigger structure around it. Okay. Um, so that's been the change to the plan. So no foundation, no anything. We're just going to finish that piece. And then obviously this piece we're going to go as the, this is the same as, as the original plan, which you guys okay. have seen on the six-foot bump up. That's to be built on sauna tubes? Uh, either sauna tubes or concrete, concrete posts. Yeah. yeah. Um, and can you describe the existing conditions of kind of that, where the bump out and the deck is going? Yeah, the existing, uh, right now there is a current deck there, so we're going to take down the, the deck that is there and, and essentially build a new one once we bump the existing piece out six feet. You're going to leave, so you've got this 
deck here, you're gonna do this deck here, you're gonna leave this as patio block or whatever, or so what do you plan on doing with that area? Deck, so it's an elevated deck. Yeah. Oh, it's an so elevated deck, yeah. okay. Yeah, and under, or kind of in the location uh, proposed is a uh, garden, you know, Garden, kind of. Yeah, we have to, yeah, we have things. some okay. plant, yeah. plant, plant it's vegetable disturbed. garden. <laughs> Hard to tell if it, you know, it can't tell from this whether it's where, yeah. you know, yeah. off the ground. That's why I made sure to stuff out today. Yeah, no, no, kind of appreciate that. Because um, it isn't lawn, but it's also certainly disturbed. Yes. So really as close as point is 68 feet. Yeah, he's, I think yeah. he's fine. Right, you know, and it's still back to the other side is, you know. Yeah, it's, okay. Yeah, he's not closer than than anything existing. Yeah, no, I'm fine with this. Was I don't the, have any trouble. Was the existing shed part of a previous? Uh, I don't know what I mean. So there is an there was an order of conditions the commission reviewed back in 2019. Um, that shed was on that plan. Okay. As an existing shed, probably. Probably. I th actually, I think it was. Yep. No, that's so. fine. Any other comments oh. or questions from the? No. Um, any comments or questions from members of the audience? Um, so Matt, would this be a conditional or a I regular? Just, I think just a regular negative. Okay. So can I have a motion for a negative determination of applicability? So moved. Can I have a second? Second. So, okay. You don't need, so we're within 68 feet. You don't want to have a conditional. You, there's no worry about any. Actually, actually, no, you're correct. Thanks. I think I did actually put two conditions, just any excavated material, um, excavated materials uh, for the sauna tube shall be dispersed under the addition and bump out and the area under the deck shall so remain. Let's just make this a shall condition. Shall so yeah. Can I have yeah. a motion for a condition negative? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Eric? Yes. Marilyn? Yes. Jim? Yes. Noel? Yes. Ann? Yes. And Margaret? Yes. Um, can I have a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. Second. All those in favor, Eric? Yes. Marilyn? Yes. Jim? Yes. Noel? Yes. Ann? Yes. And Margaret? Yes. So, Matt, you'll be getting, you'll be in touch with, a, with yep. when the paperwork's ready? Yes. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Uh, Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy yes, Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, Oh, is there a, oh. are we going on to the certificate well, of compliance? Wait, 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 yeah, the other piece. Certificate of compliance. Oh, shoot, that's right. I didn't know if you guys did that without me. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> You're here. <laughs> um, so in uh, when I received the RDA application, I remembered, because um, I think my, this was probably one of the first notice of, or orders of conditions I actually signed and sent out um, when I started working for the town, um, remembered that address so there was a previous order of condition uh, issued by the commission for the addition as shown on the certified plot plan uh, again so in the location the rear <coughs> southwest corner of the house um, we received a certified plot plan from the same firm that provided the original and uh, is in the is in the substantially uh, conforms to the location uh, where the previous was approved um, and the distance to the wetland resource is no closer and as such I'd recommend the Commission issue the certificate of compliance for 334-1726 any so moved second all those in favor Eric yes Marilyn yes Jim yes Noel yes in yes and Margaret yes so, so that's done that's done that's yeah. done I'll get that to you now you're good to go <laughs> now, now, have a nice day. Good. now everything is taken care of yes yeah. thank you all thank you take yeah. care so moving on to our 7 30 p.m. agenda item a public hearing for Aju 88 Concord Road Under Massachusetts general law chapter 131 section 40 the wetlands protection act and Westford's non-zoning wetland bylaw chapter 171 the Westford Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing on Wednesday, November 9th, 2022 at 7.30 p.m. in meeting room 201 at Town Hall, 55 Main Street, to consider the request for determination of applicability application of Moses Aju for construction of a 20 by 24 foot garage, a portion of which is within 100 feet of bordering vegetated wetlands at 88 Concord Road. Assessors map 15, parcel 59, lot zero. 
Good evening. For the, re the record, you are? Uh, Moses Ajo, and uh, I'm here today to uh, present to you my case. Uh, you considered uh, to be allowed to build uh, a two-car garage. That's the proposal. So it would be in this area. What's there right now? Uh, right now, there is nothing. It's lawn. It's, it's just lawn. lawn. Okay, pre-existing. It's lawn. It's, it's fairly area. flat. Yeah. Um, I stopped out this afternoon, um, and uh, again, I, if the commission is amenable to issuing the determination of applicability. Yeah, if the commission was amenable to issuing the determination of applicability, I would recommend uh, conditions, you know, prior to the commencement of work, the applicant shall install erosion controls consisting of silt fence and straw wattles between the proposed garage and the wetland resource area and to have me come out and confirm just, you know. Based on the other dimensions of the plan, it looks like the... Uh, closest point to the wetlands is about 89 or 90 yeah. feet. So 85, yeah. 85 was I when I scaled. So. I'd have yeah. no trouble, but it's, you uh, go out and you draw up all of that and then we'll look at that. Okay. So, um, and now I'm assuming that you'll also be extending the paved driveway to the front of the garage? Yes, the paved driveway would be, yeah, it would, it would come out this way. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and that's actually out of the buffer. Okay. Well, it just, yeah. Yeah. Like I think she just wants to see it on the plan. Yeah. Or just, just you know, I'm Something assuming. And, yes. Something to tell us. Yeah. Oh. So we'll continue this and close it or next? Well, um, yeah, you can get out there. It's an RDA. Okay. We'll do it. Yeah. I mean, I was anticipating, you know, the. You can do it tonight? Yeah. Oh, oh. let's do it. Yeah. Okay, fine. Okay, so okay. conditional negative? Uh, yes. Okay, okay, can I have a. Mo well, well, before we do first. that, we need to ask any. Um, are there any comments or questions on this project from members of the audience? We're neighbors across the street. Can you come? Do we have? Oh, we don't have anything. <laughs> uh, Sir, can you just use the mic? Please. Yes. Yeah. Say who you are, please. Hi, my name is John Miller. I live across the street from Moses. He's a good neighbor. Takes care of his property, and if he wants to improve his home for himself and his family, I'm all for it. Nice to hear that. Thank, Thank you, you very enough. much. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. So now, can I have a motion for a conditional negative determination? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Eric? Yes. Marilyn? Yes. Jim? Yes. Noel? Yes. Anne? Yes. And Margaret? Yes. That's, um, a, that's a positive. That's not a negative. This is the good okay. yeah. <laughs> um, yes. Motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Eric? Yes. Marilyn? Yes. Jim? Yes. Noel? Yes. Anne? Yes. And Margaret? Yes. So, um, Matt, you'll be in touch with the paperwork? Yes, and the building department actually, his building application has been sitting on my desk for a while and I'd be happy to get rid of it. Okay. So thank you very much. You're all set. You're all Congratulations. Set. Thank you. And happy Thanksgiving to you. Do us thank well. you. Thank you. Be safe. Okay. Moving on to our 735 agenda item. It's a continuation of a public hearing for Cody 75 Garden Road. Good evening. Jeff Hannaford representing the applicant. Uh, at this time, we'd like to ask for a continuance to your next meeting. Uh, a couple of reasons is uh, uh, information that we received from DEP on their opinion, as well as uh, some issues with the septic system installation that's taken our uh, time and, and effort over the past few days. And uh, homeowner was away and just got back today, so I really haven't had a chance to sit down with him and go over uh, the options that have been laid out with DEP comments and speaking with Matt. Uh, so, so when do you want to continue to our okay. next meeting? Next meeting, yeah, two weeks, end. yeah. Nope. That then should do it. Would the commission, you know, taking into account, you know, pending um, the representative for the applicant, being able to take into account DEP's comments and kind of design accordingly, would the commission want me to draft special conditions, at least for review for the... Yeah, I don't mind if it, I mean if you can comply with DEP's request and we can get it all done at the next meeting, that's fine. You know, it works. We'll, we'll, we'll to 
have some he does. Time, yes, he always needs to talk to his client to see what they want to do or not do and and you have three weeks so. yeah so can i have a motion to continue the public hearing till november 30th so moved second all those in favor eric yes marilyn yes jim yes noel yes and yes and margaret yes thank oh, you i see you on the 30th happy thanksgiving happy thanksgiving yeah, uh, he's up next i'm up too. next too <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. But well, thank that. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, moving on to our 7:40 p.m. agenda item: um, a request to work after December 1st for 103 Lowell Road. Uh, Jeff Hannaford for the applicant for 103 Lowell Road. Um, the uh, this I don't know if you recall this site. I know it's been before the commission uh, quite a few times. Um, in uh, gaining a, a notice of intent that had lapsed and had to be reapplied and so it's finally being constructed and it happens to be the type of site that uh, access and room to work is very limited uh, i liken it to painting a, a floor in your house where you you need to start as far from the exit door as possible and then work your way out the door and it's kind of the same thing here uh, so what's happened is um, the house is under construction they had hoped that that would have happened sooner uh, but because they were on a well uh, they couldn't get their building term permit until they got a sign off from the Board of Health on the well and they had an issue with the well mm -hmm. and that set them back about a month month and a half um, so they're going to start <clears throat> next week on uh, some of the, the work that's outlined there. Um, there are some uh, drainage uh, structures around the house. Uh, there's two of them. Um, as well as the final grading of the driveway. Uh, I don't know if you recall the, the site, but there is a crossing associated with the driveway. Uh, from the street up to the crossing, that work's been completed. It's been paved. The drainage swales are in. Uh, the restorations uh, have been completed. Uh, so this is mainly from the crossing to the dwelling itself. Uh, so they want to final grade that driveway, do the drainage associated around the house, and the final grading uh, associated with the septic system. Uh, they're going to start it next week, but unfortunately, if they had that extra four to six weeks that they were delayed on the well issue, they probably could have finished everything by December 1st. Uh, so what they're asking for is uh, some time into December. Uh, the weather's been very favorable. Hopefully it holds out, and they'll be able to comply with uh, the items I've listed and what it would leave for next spring would be the final landscaping. It's too late to do uh, final plantings um, and remove the er erosion control once everything's fully stabilized. But uh, what they want to do is, like I said, is, is finish the driveway and the drainage and then the grading on the septic. I don't have trouble, do you? No, Matt, have you been out to the site? Uh, oh, it stabilize after you do the final grading. Uh, just to seed it and and help grass grows or something before it gets too cold or oh no it would be protect, protected with a, a mulch or a jute mesh uh, yeah. Okay. yeah they'd want to make sure they stabilize so well, it they, doesn't say that so I was just kind of yeah. curious yeah, 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 yeah. as to how are you going to do it yeah. yep yeah and, and as you know and also thinking about um, with the septic grading well actually with all the grading is is how steep are the how steep are the grades would mulch be sufficient or are we really looking at needing to use something like a jute mesh yeah they'll need a combination okay on the steeper slopes would have to be a jute mesh um, but there are some gradual slopes that uh, mulching could handle um, and you know I, i've been asked about it their concern is they want to make sure they don't have to waste money and do it twice so mm -hmm. So yeah, I suggested yeah, I the juke mesh. I just want to make mesh. sure that it's sufficiently stabilized, mm -hmm. you know, if you're going to do the final grade, so. Yeah. Okay. And I, I'll make a trip out there in the next okay. couple of weeks. Okay, that's great. Okay. Been out in probably a month, but 
okay. things looked fine at okay. that point. Yeah, I'm just, you know, just in terms of, we see there's a difference between an impression from reading the words and the impression you get from being on the site and see where the work's going to be done. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, in that case, so, can I have a motion? So well, actually, what? Um, make any a motion. comments from the audience? <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, you're looking for the motion to allow the work between September 1st and April 1st. Uh, so moved. Uh, December so moved 1st. With the understanding that Matt's going to go yeah. out there. Yeah. 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 Yes. It, so it December is, 1st. Second. December. Yeah. It okay. First. I second that. Okay. All those in favor? Eric. Yes. Marilyn. Yes. Jim. Yes. Noel. Yes. Anne. Yes. And Margaret. Yes. Okay. We're all set. Thank you. Jeff. Thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving. Yep. Um, now he's out the door. Oh, no. This doesn't require something to sign. That was nope. the certificate of compliance. Okay. We got um, Chris. Moving on to our 7.45 p.m. agenda item, continued public hearing with Franklin of 31 Bridge Street. Thank you, board. I am sorry. I have not been in contact with you for a few months. Um, sorry, when I last time had COVID, I thought I was over it. And so I lost all motivation to do anything, including whatever. So it now. hit me with a vengeance. And uh, so I'm feeling better. I'm back to getting things. I have at least two engineers looking at the plans to give me quotes on a new site survey. Uh, so that's where I stand right now. Uh, hopefully, I'll hear back from one of them. What, uh, one was not optimistic because they said they had a lot of work and it's um, whatever timing. Uh, but the other one took the copy of the plan and is actually looking at it. And this has been, he's had it for a couple of weeks, but he hasn't returned a call yet. And I called him today early and I called him this afternoon, hoping he would return a call saying, hey, I'll do the job. And I talked to Noel at uh, Noble, not well, Noble Environmental. Uh, that was the other engineering firm, um, and they said they could do the wetlands overlay, but they need to get the site survey done first. So, as soon as I get the site survey done, I can then get it done. But uh, I've called two or three. You know, I called uh, Land Tech a half a dozen times in the last uh, week, and no one's left a message and no one's ever called me back. So. Do you have uh, any more names, Matt? Hmm? Uh, I can certainly uh, Maybe you can give some. him some more names. I'll, yep. I'll, yeah, what I'll do is I'll see Matt tomorrow or the day after and get, uh, and get a tomorrow list and get a list of people that will actually return calls. I can't promise that. Uh, you know something? <laughs> so guys, this has been going on for how long? Three years? Three years? Yep. Yeah. Coming so, on three years. Um, I, you know, it's we got to be moving forward here. That's all I got to say, because I think I last mean, time we were here and we talked about this, we weren't going we were to be continuing to continue. Contract today, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was trying to get a contract. Trust me, I, in the last two weeks, I talked to Matt, and uh, now that I'm feeling energetic, or don't feel like I'm in a, uh, as a purple haze, as Jimi Hendrix would say, um, I'm actually working towards it. I have just not, I mean, it, this is the most frustrating. I don't deal with this so I'm not I've been told essentially I'm not big enough by a half dozen people like I'm not presenting enough work for them to get it want to get it done and we'll get you know, the list and let's see if we can have an answer on the, yeah the I mean I'll, if you've got a list of people you deal with and you, you're happy with their so it's not a money issue it's not it's just I can't find anybody so and, uh, yeah I can certainly do that I will talk to Matt tomorrow and try to get that list and if I can get, you know, I'd love to be back here at your next meeting and say, we'll hey, I have a signed contract. Meeting, no matter what. It's yeah. kind of out of my hands. Yeah. And let we're going we're gonna to need you at the next meeting no matter what. So okay. we'll see what you can yeah. do. Um, November 3rd? Uh, no, 30th. November 30th. 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 Yeah, because okay. one of... But Matt will let us know if he's talked with you. Oh, yeah. no, that'll be fine. But one of the things to keep in mind is, is because this public hearing has been going on for so long, um, once Noel is appointed we will have two members of the commission who have not been here for the entire time yeah. um so it starts it's all right we still got five who 
We've got, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're good. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. good. I mean, this I this, okay. this can't go on for too much longer the way it's currently been going on. Right. Let's have a contract, a signed contract, yeah. you know, at the, 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 for the 30th. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah let's least, try for I that. I would like to, to do that, and we'll, it's not from lack of trying. You call him tomorrow. You call I, him I'll tomorrow. be all over him like a cheap suit tomorrow. Uh, yeah. I'll believe right. it when I see it, so you do it. <laughs> okay. okay. Motion to continue the public hearing to November 30th. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Eric? Yes. Marilyn? Yes. Jim? No. Okay. Noel? No. What was? Okay. She said no. Was that a she no? said there were no. two no's there. Okay. okay. She said two no's. What about okay. Ann? Yes. Ann? Yes. And Margaret? Yes. So we have um, three to two. Three to two. No. Okay, still fast. Three to two. Four, well, four, four to two. two. Four, four, to two. Four, to two. four to two, yeah. Four to two. Yeah. To continue four the season. public hearing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we will see you on the 30th. Absolutely. Thank Look, you. And have a happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, really. I'm surely going to surely gonna try. Please do. Yes. Thanks. Yeah, okay. In you all. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Eight o'clock. Uh, I got an eight o'clock meeting. Yeah, I, no, about like, ten o'clock. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be great. Good. I was gonna say I don't want to see you at eight o'clock. Yeah, I don't. Want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna no, have a list for you then. Yeah, no. Okay. Good night. So, is anybody here for a day agricultural? This is um, request in writing. Well, there was. A, yeah. I had. I see. I have it. I have. Yeah, it. the updated yeah. MOU. Um, and I'd I haven't heard back when I prepared this and sent it to um, Darren and I think Sharon, Shannon, 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 um, last mid, la mid early last week. Um, I haven't heard back, so I don't know if they're waiting for their next meeting. So if we could table this to, okay. I have one editorial comment, one word, literally. Where's that? Page two of the MOU. Yep. The, f the fourth word at the top of the page that starts Angle. the sentence permanent. We just get rid of the word permanent because the fencing by, right, de by definition yeah. must be removed if, if, if they leave they the, work the site. There. Yeah. So that's it. Okay. 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 Plus they talked about different fencing at different parts. So, <clears throat> um, Noel. Yeah. So, um, has the agricultural commission met so far in November? No, they have not. Do you know if do you know if they have a meeting scheduled in November? The next meeting is scheduled for Monday the fourteenth. Okay. Um, will you be able to will you be attending that, that meeting as our liaison? Yes. Um, can you um, can you ask them to you know review the amended MOU and get feedback for, and, and take a vote as to whether they um, approve the wording in the amended motion, the amended MOU. Yes, I will. Okay. And then Matt will table this to our November 30th meeting. Yes. Okay. Um, a next agenda item is to a minor modification request by New England Power for their right of way, DEP file number 3341784. Uh, so the uh, project manager from the BSC group and National Grid's uh, permitting uh, coordinator, I think his title is, um, they reviewed the, instead of proposing to do the bore uh, soil borings within the burn soil conservation um, wetland that we were all concerned about during the public hearing process, but also understood that you know with it being a limited project, um, they you know sharpened their pencils and had their engineering team review what would be possible and if they could eliminate the towers in the wetland resource and locate them on a, an additional uh, upgradient on the uh, western side. Um, they have, and they've kind of nice. doubled, doubled up the, I don't know if they're 
anticipating doing two towers or if they're just checking in two locations uh, on this western edge of the wetland resource. Um, but they're also proposing, again, still some on the eastern side, uh, but they're but they are anticipating removing and and it's certain you know it's it's certainly less impact um, you know than you know, putting down all the timber matting and everything um, and I would request the commission uh, if they're amenable to approve this minor modification request. Okay. So you're looking to a motion of that effect? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Eric. Yes. Marilyn. Yes. Jim. Yes. Noel. Yes. And yes. And Margaret. Yes. Does this require us to sign something? No, not the minor modification. Okay, thank you. Uh, and if I may continue on to the next one, sure. because it's kind of. Um, so, as they had uh, their, since we have the plans up, um, there is a fourth transmission line at the north end of the wetland resource. It is not as, I think it is a more local transmission line. You can kind of see it very faintly here. Um, and that is on single pole transmission, uh, single pole supports as opposed to the more uh, robust double pole supports that uh, the other lines are. Um, they've noticed that some in the middle of the wetland resource are starting to lean. Oh. Um, they are concerned that it is due to the elevated water level in the conservation area uh, due to an abandoned beaver dam located. Uh, I think I put it. Um, well, this is a photo of the beaver dam, um, and they're requesting an emergency uh, certificate be issued uh, for beaver solutions to breach it and lower the water level two feet. <coughs> I am requesting the commission authorize me to issue the emergency certificate um, for this immediate action, but also in. I'm going to request that National Grid and BSC um, start to, you know, de design something so that, you know, we can look into removing, you know, uh, there's probably a dozen, if not more, uh, poles, uh, transmission poles in the wet, in the wetland. Um, you know, let's see what we can do to remove that because obviously that's not. In ideal. this particular wetland? Yes, in this particular wetland. Okay. Um, you know, because, you know, one emergency certif certification I can understand, but Twelve of if, them it's, if it turns into, if it turns into habitual, that's, you know, not ideal and obviously okay, we need like a better that. solution. I like that. Um, so kind of moving forward as well while, you know, allowing them to, um, Sure that that it's an yeah. abandoned beaver dam. Beaver, yeah. uh, beaver solutions was out and they evaluated. They didn't see any active beaver activity around right. the so area. There'd be no reason then to put in some kind of a leveling device or no. anything like that. Yeah. Not at this time. You know, you're also, looking. I'm kind of curious why it's an emergency all of a sudden. This has been this way for many many years. That I, the beaver dam has I, been there and the pond has been there and two feet is a drastic amount to lower. I, I, water, I, I do agree. I think it probably was out of sight, out of mind, um, you know, that. Um, and Someone noticed it one Yeah, day. and again, when the engineering team was, you know, evaluating all these other uh, transmission, you know, for the removal of that, um, you know, it came up and, you know, somebody brought somebody, you know, yeah, somebody asked the right question. It might have been a fresh pair of eyes or something. Um, yeah. You know, whereas, and so that's kind of. It's going to make a I big difference. I mean, yeah, the, it's the, a huge two feet. A lot of. I mean, has yeah. it been two feet deep for as long as you can remember, or yeah, and is it just well, well, suddenly I mean, I think, coming to light I think of day? They, or? And they, the, they were saying that in the area of the main wetland, it's probably about four feet deep. So, lowering it two feet still, you know, remains. They'll they'll still be standing water remaining. Um, and, you know, I went out there with the uh, Director of Environmental Services from the Board of Health, uh, the health Department um, and, you know, a court, you know, under MGL 13180A, um, you know, they can find it as, a, you know, a public safety, um, you know. A public utility in this yeah, case? Yeah, you know, the, it's the transmission lines, um, you know, it's the, 
that's the one for flooding caused by beaver or muskrat um, and impacting transmission lines. But again, like I said, I want there to, you know, Oh, yeah, I, I, no, I, I, I get it. I think that's a very good idea. I think that's very proactive. Where, um, where's the water going to go? Um, so it does flow out to the south. Uh, Vinebrook? Yes. It's kind of the head of Vinebrook um, and continues underneath 495. So it comes out this, um, the south end. This was where I took the photo. Um, and it would continue into Vinebrook. Um, one of the conditions of the draft emergency certification, um, as typical with most of these, uh, where are you? So when they want to do this? Um, within the next 10 days. So like, I'm just curious as to like, okay, whatever's living in those wetlands, like turtles and all those yeah. other critters that are getting ready to overwinter who are already like hibernated and bedded down. When the guys drain this thing, they're going to, exp I don't know how much of it they're going to expose, but aren't they going to, isn't that going to potentially have adverse impacts I, to the critters that are living in that environment? Because, you know, it's not like they get a chance to move now. Mm -hmm. Also, it's a rookery. I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the herons aren't the herons, you know, their nests are usually up in up the high, tree. But yeah. they, don't they fish there? <laughs> well, I mean, if we're dewatering, I think that would probably be better um, fishing. Um, okay. But <laughs> so much I mean, I'm just worried about the things that aren't going to have an opportunity to the move. Things, the, the things that have gone into hibernation. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that's, you know, yeah, I, mean, I, I would can pr prefer to give them an opportunity to be able to overwinter and survive as opposed to killing them to, you know, by draining this two feet, you know, we're exposing, you know, surface area where they could be hibernating, and that's going to kill them. That's a good point. Bring it up and see. How yeah, you I can. Con yeah, 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 I was trying to. No, yeah, I think it's a good point. Yeah. Because we do timing of that too when we allow things to happen. Because mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times we don't want people turning over soils or, or working after December 1st because, you know, they're tearing up the soil and they're flipping out salamanders or whatever and they're, and they're killing stuff that's in the ground. Yeah. Same way here. This is a many month long project that New England Power is doing, right? It's not, yeah. and it's a long route. Maybe they can do it in the they spring. They can come back and move this and take out this that one thing maybe in the spring Yeah, time. I mean, Beaver yeah. Solutions, I mean, Beaver Solutions is, that is a contractor being hired, but, right. you know. Um, New England Power is the one that wants, wants to get rid of it. Maybe. No, they but they right. want to get rid of the poles, which is something different. Well, they, they want to get they well, want to have uh, right. Well, they want to get rid of the poles in a, for the three transmission lines, not this one. So this is the four. There's four transmission lines. Yeah. The three of them that they you know were doing the soil yeah, boring for, um, and this is the one that they you know I think we're planning. We can on discuss doing. that though. And maybe they could plan it a little further left. Yeah, or, or do know, it spring. Dewater yeah. portion, a portion, you know. A foot now and a foot in the spring. Um, yeah, so I just have a discussion. Yeah, I, can I just don't want to. Yeah, have a bunch of mortality that we caused because we, yeah, you know, allowed something point. to be drained at the wrong time of the year. Yep. Yeah, whenever we do a, a lake point. drawdown or a pond drawdown, we always tell them that they're going to do yeah. it early before the freeze happens. October. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, so I think yeah, it's usually if, through if it can happen, November. But a little later. The same thing here would be After. a good good yeah. approach. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Yep, I can certainly discuss that. And if it hasn't been, you know, it may be declared an emergency or whatever, but it's been there for a long time. Right. Yeah. And hardly. And it, can, and it can be there. Hard, to, hard to make it an emergency it's when it's for, the for situation's four, it's been. Four more months, we can get into April. Historical. Next year. Yes. That would be fine. <laughs> yeah, I can certainly present that and uh, look to. Okay. So that. Thank so you. at this point, we're going to table the emergency certificate till the follow-up conversation. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And so you'll be talking to um, the power company about this? Or Beaver Solutions, Solutions and, yeah, as, as Beaver Solutions as kind of the expert, the experts, but also including National Power in it as well. Okay, so th they'll, be, they'll be kept informed. Yep. Okay. Um, we're ready. Jim's plantings. I think we can remove that from the list. I just I, I, awesome. <laughs> what amazing. amazing. I never thought I'd say that. I'm amazing. Say? I didn't hear what you said. I forget. <laughs> no, I said I think we could remove this topic from the list. The sycamore cypress oh, he's happy. conservation land planting. Yep. And the neighbor is certainly uh, uh, interested in putting up some more screening. So yeah, that's even of, better. 
Right. Great. So, yeah. you know, I'll work with him in the spring to figure out, you know, what he's looking for and try to, you know, find a happy medium of native species that provide screening and also um, aesthetic look from, yeah. it, from his side. That problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Before you talk about, I thought yeah. one thing I forgot to mention. And I'm afraid if I don't mention it, someone won't be able to do it. Uh, it's, we're done with that topic, right? The, the planting? Yes, and no. before yeah. you go on to the working okay. that you want to talk about, uh, CPA is going to have its needs assessment meeting on December 6th. We always have somebody come from the commission to say what sort of things, and certainly, if nothing else, we would go with, forward with the uh, same application we put in all the time. Mm -hmm. So I just want to tell you that, that um, it'll be virtual, so that'll make life oh. easier for everybody. But we should have somebody speak. Yeah, to I sent uh, Margaret the uh, Peter's regular hundred ninety thousand dollar request. Okay, so Jesse will so we got to put out something. But I'm just telling you, it's going to be the sixth. The sixth. Yeah. Um, so you can contact him and you know make sure you're on the list and all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I didn't want yeah, to forget that. Yeah, and and because with the one parcel where we're getting an appraisal. If, if things fall into line, that might be something where... Um, you can use that money. Well, we can or use you, that No, but in the, terms the, of updating that, that oh, yeah, 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 the yeah, base yeah. document of this is all the wonderful things we've done with the yes, money you yes, gave us. Yes, by all means. Okay. By all means. But yeah, we, we've got the documents but you, but in you, WIP and, we'll and thank you for the date. We'll be putting application again, so you want to put that out there. And this is a good year. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, so, activities authorized for work after December 1st. That was put on, I added Taking this care. one, just to kind of get a sense of the commission, because typically the, spe the special condition that, you know, prohibits work between December 1st and April 1st um, does allow for, with approval of, you know, work to occur with the approval of the commission and or its agent. Um, I just wanted to see if the commission had any kind of where the where the barometer was of things that I could administratively authorize or, you know, or do you want everything coming before? I mean, typically in the past, it's always been okay. You know, if it's a steep slide, it couldn't be stabilized. You know, anything that we knew that was going to cause an issue. At the outer know, ranges of our jurisdiction. But, but is, are there nothing, any nothing real close, nothing real steep. But, but is it, there anything that's maybe simple and clear enough that it could be oh you yeah. want to do x matt can just approve it without yeah. it having to be brought for us actually no i like it coming before the com commission i'd like us to have to make that determination i don't want that to fall on matt's shoulders okay, okay. it shouldn't be the commission or the agent well, let it be the commission let me let me just ask one question does it does it interfere in any way matt i mean in time wise not this that. year. I mean, because we have that November 30th meeting. So, yeah. you know, I mean, la and, but I mean, last year at the same time, we didn't, you know, we had the meet our first November, our, our one November meeting was the two weeks in. And then the first December meeting was two weeks in. And actually, I think it was 103 oh, Lowell Road, um, you know, worked up, worked through November 30th. And then, you know, because they didn't, hadn't gotten approval, you know, we said no. You know, I told you, I told, you know, Jeff to Would, come, come before, you know, present the request, come before the commission and then continue on. So, I mean, every two weeks we meet, if somebody wants to work, all they have to do is, you know, basically make the request, you know, we look at it and if we deem it something that's acceptable, you know, the commission votes on it and we allow it to happen or not. So, I mean, I think the process is fine. I don't see anybody who's been disenfranchised or or felt like you yeah, know we weren't timely and any type of determination so I think we just continue to do it the way fluky, we have if there's any fluky thing where we're going to have a window of time where we're not meeting yeah. you could email us and find out whether we'd give you permission well I don't know I don't, we can't no, do that. Don't work. it's got to be a like deliberation okay, I got you. okay, okay. <laughs> yeah sorry but but okay. it's just and and Eric you, so you're right to the point that in most cases the developer should be able to say, okay, I'm not gonna be able to get this done by December 1st. Let me proactively request the ability to finish up tasks. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, we let them walk in, scribble something on a piece of paper and we tell them they're good to go. Okay. I, don't, I don't think we could be more accommodating than that. But it's just, yeah, and, and it's, it's not a burdensome activity no. from our perspective. And, and it's not last year. Mm -hmm. Last year was a, 
there was a sm small window of problem without people recognizing it yeah. mm -hmm. okay. if they waited. You know what I mean? So, but it, it, it's yeah. it's also not having. We don't feel like it's a hardship having to hear these requests no. and deliberate. Okay. 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 Great. Thank okay. you. Yep. Um, moving on to the minutes of October 26th. Good. Good for yeah, me too. Okay. So, um, if there are no. Minutes as presented. Second. All those in favor? Eric? Yes. Marilyn? Yes. Jim? Yes. Noel? Yes. Anne? Yes. And Margaret, yes. So the minutes are approved. Um, no site visits. The recorder's schedule. And it's only 10 <laughs> we can We can adjourn this early. It's okay. <laughs> After the Good election, job. I'm thrilled. <laughs> Good job. It's only 8 10. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So can I move? Thank you very much. Motion to adjourn, yeah. Yeah, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Eric? Yes. Marilyn? Yes. Jim? Yes. Noel? Yes. Ann? Yes. And Margaret? Yes.